A Chinese national, Frank Zhengguanrong, has been sentenced to death by hanging by a Kano High Court sitting in Miller Road, Kano, for the murder of his Nigerian girlfriend in the city in 2022. Frank, who lives in railway quarters, Kano, was convicted on one count of culpable homicide. And during the judgment, Justice Sanusi Ado Maji ruled that the prosecution proved its case beyond a reasonable doubt and that the defendant's testimony is inconsistent, hence he was found guilty. BKO, let's understand this situation. First off, let's get your perspective on the court's judgment before we dissect on the possibility that he might get a death sentence because that usually is to be the case for most governors to you know, pass on that execution. Well, um, it's a very straightforward case. Um, the Chinese uh, national claimed that invested so much money on their wedding preparations, purchased dresses amounting to 1.5 million, along with Ashwebi for her friends. And then she, he also provided 700,000 for spraying during the party, only for her to go marry someone else. Oh, she fell in love with uh, someone else. He said he bought a house for her, worth four million, a car worth ten million, and uh, set her up in business with the capital running to about eighteen million. You know, uh, apart from spending five hundred thousand naira to buy shoes and bags for her, mm. all of this do not amount to a person's life. You can buy everything in the world for a woman. All of what you have bought cannot yeah. amount to the value of human life. life. Mm -hmm. You know? Then he changed his story along the way and said, oh, that, um, the woman held on to that he stabbed her to death in self-defense because she held on to his testicles. This was not what we had initially, mm. you know. So, but uh, the, the person who kills deserves to be killed. I'm mm. just waiting because the will of justice grinds slowly. When I'm talking about this, I also mean um, the going through the whole gamut of the judicial system. Mm -hmm. It grinds slowly. Uh, courts are congested. So many cases to hear. You have to wait for your time. And we could be on this for so many years. But I want justice to be served. In the final analysis, I'm be seen to be served. Mm. If it was in their country, you won't even have the guts to kill a Chinese. You're a Nigerian. You get into a fight and kill a Chinese. Because you know that they won't waste time. Mm -hmm. This is a country where even for taking bribe, they kill people. You get, if you, you take a bribe, you are sentenced to death. So how much more killing a human being. A citizen of their country? So we want to see justice done, not for the Chinese embassies to start piling pressure on our people and then we Let allow him to go. go because I know that it's possible. I've seen it before. <laughs> Mr. Lyonka, if from your own perspective, I actually want to know if the Kano state governor would execute the judgment because we've seen that sentences being passed and then not being fulfilled or being carried out that's what i want to know do you think perhaps the governors in question will definitely do what's expected of them well we have so many death sentences that have not been carried out but in this case now um i don't expect i still be i believe the uh he still has 
a right of appeal. Mm -hmm. But I expect that the governor, if the appeal, in case he, do, he appeals and or he doesn't appeal uh, the uh, the length of time he was he's supposed to appeal, he didn't appeal. The governor should not waste time because just as you said, he do, this is a scene of passion. It doesn't matter how much you have invested in a woman or anybody. It doesn't equate to life. And all this, uh, he was holding on to my testicles and all those. It was a premeditated murder, in fact. Because where did he get the knife? Mm -hmm. Even if you want to kill her, if, he was, if she was holding to what you said was, you can as well hold her on the neck and all that. Or have a place you can hit as a woman. You know where you can hit a woman and she'll be destabilized. So why do you have to take her life? I think that the governor, the justice system has been served. The governor should take the necessary bold step. Because as uh, Baba Jida has said, if it were to be in, the, in, in their own country, it won't, it, it, she won't even... You won't even, no, the, a, a non national will not even have this opportunity, is, is already had. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I also frown at a situation where they will now begin to pile pressure and say it's a, a diplomatic issue, this has to be that, and all that. No, it shouldn't be. It, I believe that the embassy had their representative at the trial. So they could see that the trial was free, fair, and well, well done. So, I mean, I don't see any reason why we should allow that to happen. Because you cannot come to, uh, you can't go to another man's country mm. and go and continue to kill their citizens mm. just for, I mean, is it today that a man is, a woman is jilting a man or whatever? Even in their own country, it happens. Yes. So why should you take the life of a person because... Even if you have instead invested the whole world on, on her, it doesn't, it doesn't equate to life.